Hey guys, this is Lorenzo, doing another online Roman Total War commentary battle. Uh, this time with a twist, I've got Roberticus here with me. Rob, would like to introduce yourself? Yep, hi everyone, this is Roberticus, and I'll be playing with Laurie, obviously. And I'll be yeah, using my Seleucids. Um, yeah, I kind of got convinced to use the Seleucids as well, so... Um, introduce your army to us, Rob, because I can't be bothered to go over mine yet. Okay. Uh, I got uh, six units of Silver Shield Pikemen, and they're Go Gold. Is this this 15k? I've forgotten. Yes, this is 15k. I think. No, yes. Yeah, yeah it is. Otherwise, I wouldn't have so many yeah. cataphracts. Yeah. And uh, behind that, I got six units of archers, and I got two units of cataphracts, and they're hidden in the woods. Can you see that, Laurie? All the way over here. Yeah, I see them. Don't. I didn't forget them. And should I introduce the awesome units? <laughs> yeah, okay, well, effectively, you got how many Greek Cav? Yeah, yeah, I've got uh, five units of Greek Cavalry and one unit of Companions. And the Companions will be leading that little skirmish force. Which turned out to be quite useful the in the end. end. Yes. Right, I'll show you my army. Uh, it's typical Lorenzo. Army here, five units of Silver Shield Legionnaires, gold, gold. Four units of cataphracts, two gold, gold, two gold, silver. So that's gold attack, silver defense. I think there's five units of archers, gold attack, and two units of militia cav, gold attack. So yeah. Um, started, bit of confusion started. at the start. Yeah, I know. Should we introduce the enemies? Okay, over on our Roberticus's side, we got God of Rome, who's Carthage, and there's Rome over here. So. Rob and me had a bit of confusion, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> this bit. Um, I was going, go left, go left, and go into this spot here, and he was going, no, go, go, I'm going right, I'm going right, and it was a bit crazy. But um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You said something like go and attack. I, all I heard was Rome, and I thought you meant go out of Rome. Oh right, yeah. It's because I haven't See, that's even seen quite the Romans. They're through the woods. <laughs> it's true. They're quite well hidden. Uh, they got basically. I'll have a look at their army. Oh, and if you tell me what Carthage think, has got now, what have they I got? I think you're actually yelling at me at this point. You're getting pretty angry. Maybe that does sound like me. I'm a very aggressive commander. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm introducing Carthage, shall I? Yeah, go for it. I can't be bothered to speak all the time, so yeah. Okay. I'm looking at them right now. Uh, well, he's got five units of sacred bands. They're very good heavy infantry. And he's got a few units of Balearic Slingers just behind them. And they're Slingers with a range of archers. Pretty deadly. But they're in tight formation. So, that's nice. You're going to die quicker. Mm. He's got four units of Sacred Bands on that. So, that's a pretty good cavalry force. And just yeah. on the flanks, he's got some Iberian Infantry and Prowenny Infantry. Oh no, that's Libyan Spearmen. Oh, good choice. He knows what the use of Libyan Spearmen is. Yeah, we're both concentrating like archer fire on those um, Balearic slingers while they're still, you know, in tight formation. Um, we like to okay, I'll show you the Rome army. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm basically leading on some. Rome is commanded effectively by this Dutch guy or German. I can never get it because yeah, but he's got I think three units of gold gold Praetorian cavalry here. Yeah, <laughs> uh, German in. Du German in German is Deutsch, so or Deutschland, I don't know, but whatever. Confused. He's got volumes of archer auxilia. Yeah, probably something like that. He's got a lot of upgraded archer auxilia, pretty deadly, and he's got urbans hiding in the forest, and they got some upgrades, so that's pretty lethal. Nothing you want to come up against. So yeah. And the good thing okay, is we combined our forces pretty early on. And we're going to take out yeah. Carthage before Rome comes. It's true. Um, yeah. Uh, I send a unit of cataphracts to deal with these Praetorians thinking that I'll manage. And they don't. That's how tough Praetorians are. They can actually kill cataphracts. <laughs> so I had to come and, and save think, you. Again. again. Okay, yeah. Rob came and assisted me, as it were. <laughs> Um, as the sacred band cavalry, he was a little bit late, weren't you? I mean, where's <laughs> <laughs> I like only the once they've ratted off my cataphract. <laughs> mm. um, 
There we go. Mm. I I only revealed one cataphracts. I kept the other one hidden. Kept a bit of a surprise. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. That was good work because it did come in useful in handy uh, later on. As you can see uh, on Rob, your left hand phalanx is getting attached, so I bail you out with a cataphract charge. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Oh okay. oh, okay. Just so we know who's even. Thanks. Then I turn my cataphracts <laughs> around to face his sacred band and pummel them. Yep. Quite. I and think. They should win. They should win. Whether they do is a different question. I think. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I'm just redressing my phalanx to uh, sit in front of these urban cohorts. Which are gold, gold, by the way. It's pretty scary. Ooh. Yeah, I, I hate urban cohorts. I I have an undying hate for them. Um, yeah, oh, we the basically. Is oh, is it? Da -da 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 oh, yes, here it is. Da -da -da. I completely didn't notice that. Look at this huge mass of cavalry that's now just about to crash into their right flank backed up the by my loyal Skippy cataphracts. guy, he actually sent off a unit of Praetorians just to slow him down, which he did if it is yeah. annoying. With those kind of upgrades it's actually physically possible for Praetorians to uh, <laughs> stop that many cavalry sadly. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, charging my Silver Shield men. Legionnaires in <laughs> to the front line of yep. Carthage. I think we agreed, didn't we, that um, I'd try and take up Carthage because my silver shields would last longer than your pikes, and you'd take out Rome. Yeah. Ro yeah. yeah it, we were just, our idea. armies were suited. Yeah. And we still got all these archers at the back firing, and all this cavalry yeah. running amok, which is nice. And, yeah. It's looking, it's so looking I don't nice choose to so hammer and anvil the. I don't choose to hammer and anvil the Carthaginians, just because they're a lot tougher, and I only have Greek cav. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's so, a bad uh, choice for Greek cav. <laughs> yeah. So I'd say the swarm just on the urbans first. That sounds a bit stupid because they're both really tough units, but I yeah, think but you just a little bit tougher. You're gonna. I think there's a. I think there's a thing where um, if you hit any spearmen from any angle, you're going to lose some cavalry just because they're spearmen, because they're counters. So. Yeah. And you'll lose more if they're Greek cav and your Greek cav are more likely to route. But you do successfully hammer an anvil them there. I bet you're proud of that. Yep. Had to do one unit. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, Rob's had a sort of um, obsession with uh, springing traps recently, <laughs> especially yesterday. It's an addiction. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he, d he he managed to pull one off in um, a 3v3 where me, him, and Ace were playing, but uh, I mean, I was, it was really lucky. It shouldn't have ever worked, but uh, <laughs> it did. I mean, that was awesome. <laughs> Anyway, that's for another day. Back yeah, to the battle. Okay. It's basically just mopping up now, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's just these urbans which are totally tearing through my phalanx. Because they got through on the on my right flank. Hmm. Your weaker infantry. Not not all that tough. <laughs> oh, geez, all your Greek <laughs> cab routed. Yeah, there they go. They serve their purpose. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle... Yep, so now he's just mopping up. There's like two urbans left. Hmm. I think I wrote off this one just with massed cavalry. I think at this point you had very little cavalry left, and I had very little archers. Or... Actually, no. I have quite a lot of my infantry left. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all well and good to have like a huge cavalry sort of set up to spring on the enemy, but I had like six units and I sort of lost control of a few of them. Sent some off to get mm. some archer auxilia for the Romans, and then there was all this micro to deal with in the main front line. These 2v2s get a bit hectic. Do they admit defeat yeah. soon? Do they? So. But um, yeah, I okay, think in 2v2s it's, it's a lot easier to pull off skirmishes like this. Just because yeah, definitely. the enemy doesn't know how many units you should be having, so they're not used to two v two. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay, so that was a clear victory to us. So we, in total, killed around one thousand eight hundred and twenty-six of their men to their killing of about one thousand four hundred. Well played to us. What do you think, Roberticus? 
Oh, I think that's, that's one of my plans that actually came off, and you criticise me every time. <laughs> I didn't criticise this one, I like this plan. Anyway, I don't know, we'll oh, leave it there. Right. <laughs> See you later, people. Peace out. See you later.